and welcome to my studio here in Las Vegas. And today I'm going to show you boring light. I mean broad light. Scratch that. I mean booty light. That is how I came to describe broad light is best for booties. Not boring anymore, damn it! So today I have Hedda, my beautiful model, and today she has an ass. But not all subjects have to have an ass because sometimes we suffer from no ass at all syndrome. As a headshot portrait, the nose would be facing away from the center line. That would make this portion appear broader. Now, think about your rear end. If it's making this appear broader and bigger, what side of the tushy will we put towards the light? That side, my friend. So, the short side, if you're, again, going back to the portrait, the short side is the darker shadowy side. That is what is going to be the stomach line. It's going to be hidden in the shadows. This is making it appear smaller in the shadows. So we're going to create an image of their body, making it appear smaller where they don't want it to be bigger. Today I'm shooting on white brick backdrop. Here on this model, I was shooting on natural brick. These are both from Click Props Backdrops. They're freaking awesome backdrops. You can actually use them as floors. I've used both of these as floors before and they kick ass. They, they're matte, they're vinyl, they wipe down, they're awesome. Moving on. As always, I'm using my Sony A7R2, but today I switched it up and I'm using the Sigma Art 50 millimeter 1.4. This is also key in creating a more of an onion ass. Check out these pictures. Here is the 85 millimeter. And now here is the 50 millimeter. You can obviously see the difference. You want to use the wider angle to your advantage. Again, we're creating an image, not taking a picture. My settings were ISO 100, aperture F 2.8, and speed 200. I'm using the Strobe Pro Trigger, as well as the Strobe Pro Strobe. It is the XR 600, right? I already forgot. X, it is the X 600 and my power was 1 over 128. For my modifier, I'm using the Easy Lock Deep Parabolic 48 inch. Tips on posing and choosing outfits. Obviously, this wouldn't be considered an outfit, but in my case, it is. These are thongs. This is a thong. You do not want your clients wearing a thong. Look, this is a T. This creates long ass syndrome. You don't want long ass syndrome. You want to create the roundness of the booty. So, even these are okay. These are what I call cheekies. You want to have a cheeky so that it can shape the booty. Let me show you on Hedda. So the cheeky is like a sweetheart, kind of like a sweetheart top. It's gonna round it out and shape the booty. And it's not gonna make it look long. It's gonna be round. It's like an onion ass, it makes you wanna cry. It's so pretty. Put your comments below. I wanna hear your fun booty slang term funny slogans. I need some more of these, I love these. Moving on. These are okay too. These are boy cut shorts. These are also cute for people who have a little bit more of a plump booty. Then you could go country. You could cut up some jean shorts or have them cut it up. And then you hike those suckers up and let those cheeks hang out. I have two skirts here. I have this black skirt. This is fun because it shows off the bottom of the tushy here. So you get that cute little, you know, you have wants to come by and tap it. This is too long. This is a no. These will work, but again, you want someone who has a little bit more roundness, but to solve the no acetal syndrome, a good cheeky is the best. Another tip is to make sure the client is wearing heels. If they have foot problems, issues, that's okay. Just have them go up to the balls of their feet to pop it the best that they can. If they can't, work with it, it works. But this is gonna give you a little more lift in the booty. You can, put something in front of them, obviously not a rolling cart. You can put a chair, like a bar stool, so that they can hold on. So, there are some other quick tips I wanna give you, 
on posing. I personally suffer from the no S at all syndrome. So if I were to take a picture like this, it would not look so hot. Even this, not as good. If they can wear heels, put the heels on. You want to have them face their booty towards the light. Now I have the light feathering across my booty. Booty towards the light. Booty, light. Got it? Take that hip. I tell them to hip check. If you were to hip check someone, that's how you pop it out. A lot of women, you tell them to pop it out and they, they give you something different. And immediately, this knee is gonna go here. It's not where we want it. Watch this. It's exactly how I teach. Tell them hip check, okay? Kick someone across the room, boom. Now they've got a nice curve out to the side, but this leg is sticking straight out. Take that leg, cross it right in front of the other knee. So as you can see from this angle, it comes to a point as it exits the frame, it becomes smaller. So now, now they're shaking. This is taking way too long for a client. Give them something to hold on to, a chair or something out of frame. Get them in there, have your camera ready, hip out, really sink into it. Have them melt, melt, melt. They're never gonna do it enough. Tell them to melt more. If it doesn't hurt, they're not doing it right. <laughs> yes, that's what I tell them. <laughs> they're gonna be sore, okay? So really lean into it. Now a lot of them will also be standing straight up. You want them to pop the booty out, lean into it, but not lean over here. Boom, take the picture there. They don't have to look at the camera. There's no faces in the shot. Make sure if the arms are out of the camera and you get the face in the shot, that they're not like this. That's smelling the armpit booty picture. Not cool. So here, boom, take the shot. Number 492, give the client a wedge. Not kidding though, ask if it's okay and just pull up in the middle to give her a wedge and that's gonna really create that look. Like this, it's pretty square, right? Now, look at that. Wedgie time, nah, 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 wedgie time. Don't forget to click subscribe and that little bell button so you can hear me next time to hear more tips on Backdrops and photography. See you guys next time. And don't forget, we create an image, not take a picture. That needs to sound better. Help me figure out a good slogan. All right, later guys.